but I know that you still have some questions. So we mm -hmm. actually sent Taylor to geneticist, Dr. Brandon Colby, to see if he could give her some additional answers to, beyond what she had already learned about this. And I, I wanna ask you, Dr. Colby, because it is so unique, what did you find? After meeting with Taylor, performing a physical exam, I confirmed that her symptoms are consistent with chimerism. Because people with chimerism have two immune systems, uh, it is uh, known that people have allergies, they have strong reactions to medications that uh, just really don't affect most people. But people with chimerism, with two immune systems, uh, they do have these types of immune system reactions. One of the most important medical issues, though, is that people with this trait uh, usually have very strange reactions to laboratory testing. And this is because blood tests are developed not with chimerism in mind. They're developed just for the, for the person without chimerism, and they don't know how to interpret the results that they get back. And it's important for Taylor throughout life uh, to inform her doctors that she has chimerism so that when they get these strange test results back, they know how to quickly interpret them correctly, and this may actually save her life. And Dr. Colby, given how rare it is, I know that you had something you wanted to say to Taylor? Yes, that's right. So I know uh, that you have a lot of questions, and I'm prepared to offer you answers, a lot more answers. I work with two companies, uh, sequencing.com and Diagnomics, mm -hmm. and we'd like to offer you free genetic testing and analysis. No way. Thank you so much. And, and I'm gonna be your doctor throughout the process, uh, so I'll perform the genetic counseling, guide you throughout the entire process, and we're going to create a personalized plan that will help optimize your health throughout your life. Oh. Well, that, that being said, Dr. Yeah. Colby, I mean, going I'm forward, so if she has children, is it, does this come into play in any shape or form? So it is genetic, but it is not inherited. So oh. uh, Taylor will not uh, have to worry about passing this down to her children. It will not be passed down. You're a geneticist. Have you, have you dealt with... Uh, so it is, before, it is so rare that I am educated about it, I'm trained about it, but it is really cool to meet Taylor because uh, she is the first person with chimerism that I've come across. It's just so rare, we're still learning a lot and I think the genetic test is gonna tell us a lot of useful information. I'm so yeah. excited and grateful. Seriously, you guys, thank you so much. Well, thank you for sharing, Dr. Colby. Thank you for offering your services. More to come, everyone.